Harry roars as King takes Invictus Games away from him and gives it to Mike. Nothing for traitors. You don't deserve it. King Charles takes Invictus Games away from Harry and gives it to Mike. Prince Harry was stripped of his honorary military titles when he stepped down as a senior royal. Of course, he's not the only member of the royal family to go through this, as his uncle Prince Andrew was stripped of his military titles and royal patronages following allegations of sexual abuse against a 16-year-old Virginia Guffrey, as well as being accused of having a friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The Duke of Sussex has previously held a number of honorary military positions including Commodore, Commander of Small Vessels and Divers, Commander of Air Honor Guard David F. Huntington, and Captain General of the Royal Marines. However, he was stripped of the honorary titles bestowed upon him by the late Queen Elizabeth for a second time after serving two hours in Afghanistan when he and Meghan decided to step down as senior royals. The decision to step down as a working royal also meant that Prince Harry cannot wear military uniform to his late grandmother's funeral in September 2022, which he said to be heartbroken about. As a direct result of their departure from the royal life, and then he moved to California, Prince Harry and Meghan were also quietly stripped of their HRH titles. The changes were made apparent on the royal family's official website last month before the Invictus 2023 bouts kicked off in the German city of Dusseldorf this weekend. The source revealed that losing his military employers left Harry feeling humiliated in front of the veterans while he was a patron of the Invictus Games. At one point, Harry asked King Charles and the late Queen to restore him to at least the military title, but he received the response that he should be proud of his service. If King Charles restores Harry to his military post, the monarchy will end. He shouldn't have become such a disloyal, disgusting, and selfish person. He brought all of this onto himself. The king will take the Invictus games away from him and give them to someone more worthy than the traitors and liars who are unworthy of any title at all, really. Harry was protected by guards throughout his military career and talked about how many people he killed, which went against military tradition. Why should he have any military position he gets? Because who he earns is not what he really earned. Harry was never a real soldier. He's been trained, but he's always been a bad boy in uniform playing video games to avoid drug testing requirements. He couldn't hack the university, it was a joke, as a soldier admitted Harry was a heavy drug user and failed at almost everything he touched. Becoming a father is also a big question, is the real father there, or is there just a fake father? He is so much on about mental health and everything emotional abuse with his wife. The only time he shines is when the camera is on him, and then he's in his element. Clearly he doesn't want privacy at all, he still wants to be William. That of course will never happen. It comes as experts have just been wanting or waiting for the most shocking changes to have been recorded in Prince Harry. It's one battle after another against the King in the eyes of Daniela Elser as she left the Duke and Duchess without emerging as a strong, positive, and energizing leader. But because excellent complainers are completely blind to the fact that two rich and healthy people were paid to throw grenades at the monarchy, hardly makes them sympathetic or traditional figures. Not really inspirational. However, this week in Victus Games could change all that. This is mainly because many people agreed to watch Hart. You've reminded how cool Harry can be when he forgets he's been given a smaller bomb moral bedroom than Big Brother Prince William. What you see in this documentary is a man who is always willing to help and care as much as possible. Miss Elser said in the middle of her post before ending, saying that this is the Harry that the Duke and Duchess need to remind the world exists to replace Plonker Harry in his wretched form and groan at the image of Harry as a compassionate, delicate, and selfless worker.